in this video I'm gonna be sharing three tips for stronger and longer orgasms and I'm pretty sure we all love orgasms but sometimes some orgasms feel a little bit weak or they feel like they came and went a little bit too quickly so I'm gonna be sharing with you three different techniques which I apply in my own life and which I also share with a lot of my female clients to kind of elongate our orgasmic experience and also make it a lot more powerful and strong. My first tip is about learning how to get better arousal because if we think about it what leads us to orgasm is arousal so if we want better orgasms we need to start by having better arousal and a key way to help us have a deeper arousal state or an arousal trance as i like to think of it is to go slow or at least to slow down from what we're used to a lot of us are used to going for a goal so it's like we get ourselves excited either by ourselves or with a partner and we just want to get there really quickly have an explosion and then we're done if we want the orgasm to feel more expansive and more powerful, we need to also make sure that the build up to the orgasm, the arousal state, that that one also becomes deeper and longer. And a beautiful way to help us go into deeper states of arousal is to play between excitement and relaxation. So how can you build up arousal and sexual energy in your body and then relax into the arousal you generated. And then again, build up more arousal and then relax and melt into the arousal. So really going in this dance between our sympathetic and our parasympathetic nervous system, this kind of like fiery, exciting energy, and then this very soft, relaxing energy. And we can kind of see it as a wave, like we start to build our arousal by getting excited and melting into the excitement getting more aroused and melting into the arousal. And the more that we can stay in this kind of arousal wave without trying to get to orgasm, the more energy we're building up. So by the time that the orgasm comes, the longer we spend on this arousal stage, the more energy there is for that orgasm to go deeper, to last longer and to feel stronger in your body. So first tip is to go slow and not just to focus on exciting yourself to the point of orgasm, but actually to kind of build it up slowly. Exciting, relaxing, exciting, melting, exciting, relaxing, exciting, melting. So when that orgasm comes, you're gonna have a lot more fuel for that to be more powerful. My second tip is edging or teasing yourself. So this is somewhat similar to the first one, but now it's when you're at the point where you really feel like whew, you can't really take any more energy and the orgasm is just in front of you. In that moment, a really fun practice is to tease yourself. So instead of just going into the orgasm, try to actually slow down and bring the arousal down again a little bit and then build it up again, just to the point that you feel like it's almost there and then again just relaxing and allowing the arousal to go down one way to do that is just to stop any stimulation or what i prefer to do is to touch your entire body so if you were just touching your genitals and you feel you're really really close then just start to touch your entire body to spread the energy and allow the intensity to go down and do that two three or even four times and again the idea is the same as with the arousal stage the more that we can tease ourselves the more energy we're building so when the orgasm comes it's gonna feel a lot more satisfying and my third tip is when the orgasm comes to visualize that you're breathing in the orgasm so particularly with clitoral orgasms, it's very common for the feeling of the orgasm to feel very localized and almost like a mini explosion, like it exploded out. And usually it's very sharp and very short. So instead of feeling like the energy kind of explodes out of your clitoris, visualize in the moment of orgasm that you're breathing in that orgasmic energy and moving it throughout your entire body. Take the best orgasm you ever had. This is a beautiful practice to turn more localized explosive orgasms into full body orgasms. Now, some things that can help you with that is first of all, to visualize the sexual energy kind of like a stream of light. And as you feel like the orgasm is happening, you visualize that stream of light 
kind of moving up your spine and circulating back down the front of your body. So it's kind of like you're up sucking the orgasm. Another thing that can help you is to squeeze your PC muscles in the moment of orgasm. So if you imagine the muscles that you used to hold your pee midstream, it's kind of those same muscles that you want to use for this practice. So as the orgasm comes, you kind of squeeze and you imagine that you're like pumping the energy up as you visualize the energy move up and you breathe it into your body and making sure that your breath is deep, full and long and not just doing this one time, but keep on breathing in this orgasmic energy and allowing it to become more and more expansive. What happens a lot with clitoral orgasm is that it's a contraction-based orgasm. So usually we're like very tense, 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 ooh, ooh, I'm coming, and then it explodes out. So what we want to do in order for the orgasm to feel stronger and longer is to actually expand the orgasm. So breathing it in and feeling our whole body open and expand and kind of vibrate with that orgasmic energy. So those are my three tips for stronger and longer orgasm. First one was around increasing our arousal state and learning to dance between excitement and relaxation. The second one was edging or teasing yourself. So not going for orgasm right away, but kind of two or three times of almost going there, but backing down, almost going there, but backing down. And the third one is in the moment that you do go for the orgasm, visualizing that you're breathing or imploding in that orgasmic energy throughout your entire body. So have fun, go try it out. I'd love to hear in the comments below how that worked for you if you managed to do it and if you felt a difference in your orgasms. And also make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to stay notified of future videos. And if there's something specific that you'd like me to talk about, also write it in the comments below. And who knows, maybe that will be next week's video.